Today I'm going to talk you through the best exercises that you can do for your foot intrinsics. We know that these are small muscles in the foot, but it takes specific types of exercise to increase the activation within these, and I'm going to talk you through them as a knee, foot and ankle specialist. Listen to the audio carefully throughout the video. While I'm demonstrating the exercise, I also discuss when to move on to the next stage. All the information is for educational purposes only, and it shouldn't substitute medical advice. The aim of the first exercise is to strengthen the small muscles in the arch of a foot. Try to pull the knuckle of the ball of the big toe towards the heel without scrunching your toes to raise the arch of your foot. It can be difficult initially but improves with practice. The second version is to practice extending in lesser toes, so using them independently of your big toe. So keep the big toe on the floor while you raise them. Then the second version is the opposite, so keep the lesser toes on the floor while you raise the big toe. It has its own independent tendon of the lesser toes, so you should be able to lift it on its own. The next exercise is to strengthen the flexor hallacius longus muscle. This is the main muscle of the big toe joint. To do so, practice pointing your foot downwards, then your big toe, release your big toe and then your foot in a slow and controlled manner. Repeat the process and it's normally high repetition up to 25 reps which will be in the description. The next exercise progression is that of the FHL and standing. So stand on the edge of the step with a band around your big toe. Lift your big toe up and down against the resistance of the band. This allows you to take a true range and you can then progress the exercise by moving on to one leg with the assistance of the wall and then without the assistance. Then the next exercise is standing on two blocks like in the video or on two books and you're raising the arch of the foot up and down with reduced stability in the gap between the books. This really stimulates the intrinsic muscles by standing on one leg. Then you can stimulate them further by doing skater squats as it brings your center of gravity over your foot. Then we can progress on the heel raises on a balance mat that provides an unstable surface so it stimulates our calves to work harder. We can then progress while we're standing on this onto a single leg, initially holding onto a wall and focusing on getting as much height as possible into your calf raise and then wean off the wall to really stimulate the intrinsic and extrinsic muscles of your foot and ankle. And then to bias the exercise towards the soleus muscle, we carry out the heel raises with our knee bent throughout, keeping the angle the same at our knee. The repetitions, sets and frequency of all these exercises will be included in the description below. If you found this video helpful, we want more videos on exercises for flat feet, shoes for flat feet and general advice on how to strengthen your feet. If you have any questions on the exercise in the video, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel.